This video is for those who want to trade high volatile assets like gold, US 30, NAS 100, GBP, JPY, but have small trading accounts. So we'll go through step by step explaining the exact process of getting high probability scalp trades with small stop losses. So if you want this, welcome to Bonex Investment Group and consider subscribing if you haven't done so, so that you'll be notified each and every time we upload a new video. So in this video, we will go through these topics, which are the strategy description, strategy parameters that will actually let you know when to enter the market and what is the entry trigger. Then uh, last but not least, we'll have chart examples. So before we delve into the wall content, we have a special announcement. We'll be having a master class on the 1st and 2nd of February 2022. It will be going for $150. The starting time will be 15.30 GMT time and it will be conducted on Zoom. So for those who won't be able to actually attend the live class, the master class will be recorded and you can have the recordings as well so we'll be covering the full institutional market maker method and the summary of the topics we are going to be discussing are intro to market maker method levels counting and resets anatomy three trade types patterns and entry criteria trading process flow then risk management and last but not least the trading psychology so if you are interested please contact us using the link in the description box below. So as we've said on the course outline, we are going to start on strategy de description. So if you have been in the market for quite some time, you understand that you must always trend with the trend. So trending against the trend is like surfing against the sea wave. So this strategy looks to trade with the trend, but we will be utilizing the one minute time frame. So the trend in this strategy is actually derived from the H1 time frame. We need to see where the market is going on the H1 time frame. Then after, for, uh, after seeing where the market is going, or in short, getting the market bias of the H1 time frame, we will then go to the one minute time frame. So first question to ask yourself is what is the H1 trend? Whenever you open your US 30 or your NAS 100, you have to ask yourself where is the H1 trend going? And then find the M1 setup in line with that trend. So the M1 setup is the entry trigger that we are going to talk about later in this video. So be sure to stick up to the end. So a trend can be defined by looking for higher highs or higher lows or the vice versa. So this is a concept, a basic concept of trading. Anyone who has been trading knows how to determine a trend. We basically need to see either higher highs or higher lows or lower lows, higher, like lower highs like that. So in this case, we are in an upward trend. In this case, we are in a downward trend. So that is the first thing that you need to actually make sure that you understand are we in an upward market context or a downward market context. And then after that, try to find yourself playing in the rallies that is between the highs and lows. So here are the strategy parameters or entries will be made on the M1 time frame. So the first step is to determine the market trend on the H1 time frame, right? As we've said, uh, you first determine if we are in an upward market context or downward market context. Then we will need the 50 and the 200 EMA on the M1 time frame. So the 50 and the 200 are the only indicators that we will need. These are exponential moving averages applied to close. Then after the M1 5200 uh, crossover in line with the trend, we are saying we have determined the trend and we've seen that we are in an upward market context and we see a 50 crossing a 200. This is a 50 and this is a 200. This is in line with the H1 bias. So that is where we mean 
by this phrase in line with the trend it is a sign for us to get ready for market entry so if we see this crossover on the m1 in line with the h1 trend it will be a sign for us to get ready to enter the market then a 200 ema double touch right is our market trigger point so after seeing this crossover we need to see the price come back and touch at least twice on the 200 ema it might touch three four times but we need at least twice on the 200 ema and on the second touch that is where we actually trigger so we'll be looking to earn 15 points per entry that is if we are trading the indices that is the us 30 us 100 and uh uk 100 as well so here are the examples of what we mean in this case this is uh, an example that was actually uh, snipped on gold and uh, in this case the first step was actually to see if we had an upward market context so the first step was to determine the h1 bias and uh, the h1 bias was up after that we needed a 250 ema crossover like that after that we first uh, we wanted a double touch of the 200 EMA and on the second touch that is where we would enter the market and then the market went up to our target so that is where it will come from it's actually a scalp trade you get in you get out very fast you get in you get out very fast you have several entries per day then uh, this was uh, NAS 100 and on um, that we had an upward market context as well on the h1 time frame and within the rising rallies right in the rising rallies because if you look for entries in these points it will be something else so try to participate within the rising rallies of the market so here we had a 50 200 ema crossover after that the market actually came back it gave us a touch a touch on this second touch that is where we wanted to actually enter the market of course the market can give us several touches as you can see and the stop loss should be below structure that is it should be below the second the first the first touch of um, of the market on the 200 ema then uh, this was uh, us 30 as you can see this time is now in a downward uh, market context that is we uh, we saw the market giving us a downward uh flow on the h1 time frame and we had a 50 they did 50 200 ema crossover after that we saw the first touch and then on the second touch is where we were going to make our entry and our stop loss above structure so if you can see our entry will be something somewhere at this point and our tech stop loss at this point and our take profit at this point so it will be a very good reward, risk to reward ratio in the scalp, scalping world you would have something that we may equate to gold so this is what we had in our today's video and as always you should first backtest any strategy that you you get before applying it to your live uh, account on that note, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and check out our free Telegram channel. The link is right in the description box below.